All right, so the uh, Vegas timeshare uh, presentation, is it a scam? Maybe that's what I'll title this. I was in Vegas about a month back with my old friend, a woman I used to date. Uh, we just stayed friends over the years. And uh, on Fremont Street, you're going to get hit up if you spend any time on, on Fremont Street, you know, with these offers to come check out this timeshare presentation. Uh, and if you do, we'll give you maybe some money, or t you know, show tickets, uh, give you a free stay at our resort. Um, and I, I, I'm always skeptical about things, right? And so should you be, certainly when it comes to sales or politicians or whatever. Uh, we didn't take advantage back then, but we went back about a week week ago, and we went ahead and checked out one of these uh, timeshare presentations. And I was up front because, again, I, I have integrity. Well, I want, don't want to live a life of bullshit like so many others. I, I told the woman who was trying to hook us up with the, with the offer, uh, just so you know, we have no intention of, of buying a timeshare. Um, we're actually we're we're not together as a couple. Um, I said, well, you may as well, you know, take advantage. I tell my friends, get the free stuff. I said, well, okay, so how does this, what's the breakdown? How, how much time are we talking and uh, how does this work? And repeatedly she said, well, okay, it's a 60 minute presentation. You show up, you have breakfast, uh, well, free, you know, free brunch, um, 60 minute presentation, no hard sell. And they give you your stuff when you leave. And skeptical as I am, I said, okay, we'll check it out. The money would almost basically pay for our vacation. And I'm curious about how the world works. I want to give these people a chance to see if there's you know, legit business people out there. Uh, so we show up for the presentation and we get the, you know, we show up for, for breakfast. And just as we check in, we're introduced to our sales guy uh, who actually sits with us through breakfast. That's which started, I think, at nine o'clock. I think, was it nine? Yeah, nine, nine or nine thirty. Nine o'clock was when we're supposed to show up. <laughs> And so from 9 to 10 was, was breakfast, brunch time. And all throughout, dude, the sales guy, is sitting with us at the table. Not giving a hard sell, but I mean, the process has started, right? And um, and he's just going on and on with this, all the money you can make, what an investment. And I, I just, I just, he was rambling on and on about the money. And I, started, I, I cut him off halfway through. And I said, you know, Tommy, did you ever see the movie Meet Joe Black? Just threw my curveball. I said, yeah, I think I, I saw the movie. I said, well, you know, there's a scene. There's lots of great things about that movie, but one of those scenes I love is when um, William Parrish or Anthony Hopkins, right, the actor, is in his, his boardroom and um, talking to his board members. And he says, look, there has to be more to life, and I would say in, more to business, than buying something for a dollar and selling it for two. You have to make a profit. Any business does, but it's got to be a bigger idea of value in there and that's why we can't sell to this guy he's pure profit um, and I just <laughs> with that statement I let him know where I'm coming from Tommy I have big projects going on um, I'm not gonna shine you you've got a very tough sell here I'm not looking to buy a timeshare I'll listen to your presentation with open mind um, but um, and, and who knows? I'll, I'll keep an open mind. This is fair. But um, this is not what I'm interested in. He's all taken aback. We just came for free stuff. I said not necessarily. That's not the deal I made. I'll listen to your presentation, um, but with no expectation that I'm going to buy today. So just cool your jets. Um, and we we you know bantered back and forth, whatever. So he knew he was clear. I'm not buying from you. Um, so throughout this, you know, he takes us on a tour, shows us the resort, the property, tells us the breakdown. Well, here's the rooms. And actually, the rooms and the rates were great. The rooms were great. Um, just us around about, and then just jackassing on about, wow, we did X amount of millions of dollars of business and look at our huge, you know, sales office, which tells me you guys are making good money. So um, not so great for so much the, the buyers, but whatever. Um, and it comes down to this. And about, so one of my beefs is this. They were not upfront about like the, the time of this thing. It took more of my morning than I wanted to. Um, so breakfast was an hour. The, I guess the by their watch, their clock, this sales pitch started at 10 o'clock, which is when we went over and checked it out. And now we've gone through everything. It's, it's after 11 o'clock already. Um, 
just barely. It's about an hour. And he said, well, let's go come back to my office. Let's go over the numbers. And then at that point, he lays out the, uh, the, the price of buying the membership, $7,000 just to get in so that you have access to these rooms. And he puts it out and said, what time is it? I said, there's no way in hell that's going to happen today. I'm not trying to be a, a, give you a, a hard bargain or be a, a, be a tough negotiator. That money is going toward my other projects, my book, my speaking, my world peace, you know, plan. Um, all these other things I'm working on, my movie script. And, uh, and he, he didn't fight too hard. He was ready for that. He said, well, okay, let me just call over my supervisor. So at this point, it's about 11.15. And uh, his supervisor's not coming. And I said, well, Tommy, how long is it going to take for, for this guy to show up? Because I'm checking my watch. It's been over an hour. Um, to me, I've lived up to my end of the bargain. Um, and he said, just a couple minutes. Okay, so sure enough, just a minute later, uh, here comes this, this guy in his suit and his, his slick hair. Hey, how we doing? What's going on? I just want to jump in. Here's what's going on. Uh, listen, I, I'm not interested. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time. Right? Um, not buying from you. And frankly, it's been over an hour already. We're pro approaching an hour and a half. And um, with that, he said, well, well, I can sit here and just talk all day because that's what we do. And I asked you, with integrity? You can sit there and, and talk with integrity knowing full well that it's been over an hour you've keeping us here. Um, he said, well, what if I do this? What if I knock this, that, and the other? And then I'm just staring off into space. I'm, I'm agitated. Because look, I'm allergic to bullshit. I spent s several years, lots of years as a commodity broker. It's bullshit. I'm tired of bullshit people and bullshit businesses that say one thing, do another, that uh, over-promise and under-deliver. And you, don't, you get, look, here's a message for you. You don't have to be that guy. That's what set me apart as a broker, being honest and upfront. Um, and he's just going on about, and I can tell he's kind of trying to irritate me. And I just cut him off. I said, look, dude, I don't care if you tell me it's $5 at this point. You've totally burned my, my goodwill, my trust in you. I'm not gonna do business with you. Again, after you've already overused my time, I'm on vacation. Well, first off, my time is precious to me because I'm trying to do things. Plus, I'm on vacation with my friend. You're cutting into that. So let's wrap this up. And so he calls over his supervisor. Again, here's the dance, guys. Just be beware. And again, going back, there's no hard sell bullshit. You're going to get a hard sell. But just stick to your guns and just call them out on their bullshit, which I did with the next guy. He starts walking over. I, it's one minute. Here's what's going on. I'm not buying from you. It's past my time. What is it? You can leave right now. Okay, with my free gifts? That's it. They try and hold that over you. Well, if you have any integrity, again, you promised me this, that, and the other. We're past that. So, yeah, I'd like the free stuff. Let's wrap this up. Oh, you know what? At this point, uh, I don't want to do business with you. And it, it's, it's your loss. You jackass. Um, and then so the other salesman, number two, tells my friend, good luck. Good luck. I just burned all you guys, you clowns. What are you doing with your life, with your time that God gave you? It's all about money with you. And this stupid jackass tap dance. Um, and um, I'm sharing this because you should know if you're going in what to be prepared for. And to go through life. You're going to deal with bullshit scam artists, snake oil salesmen full of shit. And call them out. Call them out to their face and then call them out through whatever outreach you have. YouTube, as I'm doing now. Because if people don't push back against the bullshit, then it just keeps piling up. So at the end of the day, so it, for a 60-minute presentation, and then here's what you get. We spent an hour at breakfast with the sales guy. We spent about an hour and a half there with you know these clowns, and then getting over to the office to, to probably get a free you know, gifts, the tickets, and the visa card. Probably another 15 minutes there. So close to three hours. Oh. Call out the bullshit, guys. When you get screwed, you gotta stand up and speak up for yourself. It's not just about you, it's about the whole system, everyone else. 
to decrease, decrease the odds that they'll have to go through the same BS. Was it worth it? I, I think it was worth it in our case. And actually it was fun for me to sit there and just look at them in the eye and, and call them out for their bullshit, for their lack of integrity. Um, and uh, yeah, so we got a free stay there <laughs> coming up in a couple months. I got 150 bucks, right, uh, on a Visa card. Uh, I got $100 worth of you know, dining sort of money, these little gift cards that are good at you know, certain locations that you can take wherever. Um, so if you're gonna do this, this presentation, just go in with clear eyes and be prepared. Wish you well, guys. Have a great day. Bye.